this is the immunohistochemical stains on the cell block for the case of mesothelioma. The first stain that we're looking at is calretinin. At this high power view, it is strongly diffusely positive in the malignant cells, staining in both cytoplasmic and nuclear pattern. The next stain is EMA, and um, EMA is a very useful stain uh, when we are considering malignant mesothelioma because it stains in a very characteristic membrane pattern, or there is very strong membranous accentuation. So here we can see that the cell membrane is outlined very sharply and very strongly with EMA staining. Uh, sometimes there can be some cytoplasmic staining as well, but it is a strong membranous staining that is an important feature um, in favoring malignant mesothelioma. We do not see this pattern in reactive mesothelial cells. And the final immunostain here, which is desmin, is also quite useful to some extent in delineating reactive from neoplastic mesothelial cells. In reactive mesothelial cells, desmin is positive in the cytoplasm, so you can see it staining some of the smaller cells here. However, in malignant mesothelioma, usually desmin is negative. This is not an absolutely specific or sensitive test, but used in combination with EMA as well as mesothelial markers, it can be very useful. Here is a higher power view where you can actually make out the cytologically malignant mesothelial cells that are negative for desmin as opposed to the smaller benign appearing mesothelial cells.